In terms of legal immigration, the, the last year, we saw June 2021 to June 2022, 504,000 net migration, which was bigger than even when we had free movement of people That's right. in the EU. I mean, can we start with a simple agreement that that figure is too high? It's uh, far too high. And it needs to come down. Absolutely. So looking at those figures... Um, People who came to work was 150,000, students were 277,000, and other, including refugees, were 276,000. The figure that struck me here was about students and how many students are coming and their dependents. Mm. Now, in terms of dependents, 476,000 students came in total, bringing 116,000 dependents. From Nigeria, 50,000 students came, bringing in over 51,000 dependents. Mm. Why do we allow students to bring in dependents? Mm. Well, we've got very liberal rules, if you like, on students bringing their family members with them. And that is something that we are interested in reviewing. It's right that if you came here to do a PhD and were staying in the UK for a long time, that you might be able to bring your spouse with you. But the figures that you just quoted and the ones that I've seen in the last few weeks in this job suggest that the problem is much bigger than that. And what I'm concerned about is there are people coming to universities here as a backdoor way of bringing their families into the UK and staying here for a prolonged period. Because although the majority of students do leave the country at the end of their studies, 40% don't. And so a very significant number of people use this as a route to a life in the UK, and this is a big driver of net migration. And we can all see that there might be some benefits to that, to the economy and to society. But I start from the point that we're a relatively small country. There is a lack of housing. Public services are under considerable strain at the moment. We can't have a million people entering the country in a single year, uh, and a net migration of half a million. And all our... It's just not sustainable. And all our viewers will agree with this separately. It's not really a question now, but maybe a point to take back. There has to be reform of the universities if it's their way of funding themselves. They're too big, too many people are going there, and it seems now that this is their source of income without thinking of the implications to the country as a whole and the immigration figures. That's something the mm. government must take away. I, th I think that's right. I mean, we've got a flourishing university sector. That's a good thing. We are a world leader in education. But there are a subset of universities which are surviving almost entirely on international students. And that is putting huge pressure on the UK. So, and we have to try to change that. So what our viewers want to know is what are the government going to do to get this figure down and to stop all these people, particularly from countries like Nigeria, using it as a backdoor way to bring in their family members? Well, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, and Suella Braverman, the Home Secretary, and I are reviewing this. We've only been in our jobs for four weeks, and we haven't come to firm conclusions. But I think all three of us are agreed that net migration of 500,000 is wrong, that is unsustainable, and we have to work together to bring it down. And some of the areas that are ripe for reform include looking at the number of students coming into the UK and how easy it is for them to bring dependents here. You, you do have to remember when you look at the stats that half of those people are humanitarian visas. And so there were almost 250,000 people entering the UK last year from a combination of Ukraine, Afghanistan, Syria, and also the yeah. Hong Kong scheme. Broadly, that's a good thing. But you've got to remember when you make those big, bold, compassionate steps. It has consequences, yeah. and that is the largest number of people entering the UK and, and in a single year since the Second World War. And I will get onto that, because in the Times today,